Hello everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you a native and seamless function in Windows that will help you save space on your storage. I am talking here about folder and file compression, not to be confused with a zip folder or zipped file. So this is something else completely and I'm gonna explain it. Native means you don't have to install anything on your Windows machine. The function is here, all you have to do is put a check mark on it of course, I'm going to cover all this in my video. And seamless, it means that the applications aren't aware of this function. So they will continue to function. And you can also copy and move the folders and files without worrying about if they are compressed or no. So everything is handled in Windows on the kernel level. And what is good about this functionality is that it is available on Windows Home, Windows Pro, and of course, Windows Enterprise and Education. The only requirement for this functionality to work is that you have a partition that is NTFS. So let me start by showing you everything you need to know about this functionality. So I'm going to switch to screen recording. So what I have here are three folders and I'm going to explain all this. The first thing you need to do is to enable a different color for the compressed folders so that you can identify them. So in your Windows Explorer, click on the three dots here and then click on Options. And then under options, go to view and scroll down until you find show encrypted or compressed NTFS files in color. So check this box and then click on OK. So now when we compress the folder, it will change the color and this way you can identify it. So let's start first by compressing this folder that is empty. So right click on it and choose properties. Let me put this in the middle and then click on advanced. And then here you see compressed contents to save disk space. So check it and then click on OK. And because this folder is empty, it will not ask you any more questions. So now you see that the compressed folder changed color. And even the icon here, it shows you two arrows. It means that it is compressed. So now whatever you copy in this folder, it will be compressed. So now this is a folder that has already a folder in it. So I'm going to show you the difference between this one and this one. So if you compress this one, I'm going to do the same. So compress. And here, because it is not empty, it will ask you this question. So it will tell you, do you want to only compress the folder or do you want to compress everything in it? So I'm going to choose to compress everything in it. And now everything under this folder is compressed too. Now, this is a folder that is not compressed. So. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to open this one in a new window and put it here. So the not compressed folder, I have two files here just for the example of this video. So you have the large file. If you go on properties, you see that this file is taking 6.24 gigabytes and on disk also it is 6.24 gigabytes. So let's see if you copy it now in the compressed folder what will the size be? So I'm going to just drag it here and I'm going to press on control to copy it. So now it is copying. And while it is copying, let me tell you that the only drawback that you might encounter when you enable compression on a folder is that maybe the performance of the disk will be a little bit slower. But if you have an SSD disk and a powerful computer, you will not notice this difference. So you see here, it took a little bit of time to compress the contents of this file. This is a very large file and I have a very fast SSD here. So now the copying is finished. Let's compare the properties of both folders. So let me click on the properties of the folder that is not compressed. And this is the properties of the folder that is compressed. So let's compare them. You see that the non-compressed folder, the size on disk is 6.24. And when it is compressed, the size on disk is almost half. So it is 3.58 gigabytes. And this is a huge saving in disk space. So let's do the same now for the small files. So I'm going to copy them here too. So now the small files are copied. So let's see the properties. And notice here that the small files, they were compressed just a little bit. So the size on disk is 147 megabytes instead of 164 megabytes. So you don't always get a very large compression, but this is how it works. So now I'm going to show you what will happen with the compressed file if you copy it, for instance, to an uncompressed folder or if you move it. 
So I'm going to do this. So here the not compressed, I'm going to delete both of them. And now I'm going to take the files that are compressed here. And the first example I'm going to show you is that if I copy a compressed folder to a non-compressed folder on the same NTFS partition, what will happen? So I'm going to drag this one here and I'm going to copy it. So in short, it will not be compressed because it will inherit the properties of the target NTFS folder. So you see here, the file is not compressed. Let's make sure. So you see it's not compressed. So let me delete this folder. And now let me move the large file and you see that it will retain its properties. So it will not inherit the parent's property of compression. So now I am moving it and you notice it is compressed. And by the way, everything in this folder is also compressed. You see here, this is a file, it's also compressed. So now what I'm going to show you is what happens if you copy or move a compressed folder or file to a non-NTFS partition. So I'm going to open my USB key now that is on XFAT. So this here is my USB key. It has an XFAT partition. So you see here the file system, it is XFAT. So let me open it. So let me copy this compressed folder along with its files into the USB key. So this is an NTFS partition here, and this is an XFAT partition. And you're going to notice that it is not compressed. And also, it will not be compressed even if you move it. Because compression is only supported on NTFS partitions. And this is also what I was talking about when I said it is seamless. So the operating system will not ask you, do you want to uncompress or something like this. It just decompresses the folder because everything is handled by the kernel and Windows, as I said. And to further elaborate on the seamlessness of the compression operation, I'm going to show you just a Word file, like how you double click it and it will open without asking you anything. So here I have a Word file that is called test compression. So if you double click it, it will open seamlessly because Windows decompresses it and it relays the information to Word without your intervention. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below and I'll be glad to answer all your comments and all your questions. I hope that this video was useful to you. If it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help the channel greatly, and this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.